Hi everyone, this is Rob from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see what are the different ways of saving session log and workflow log in Power Center. The agenda of this video is what is a session log and workflow log? What are the different ways of saving session log and workflow log we can see in the Power Center and followed by a quick demo. Now explanation, what is a session log? Session log contains information about the tasks that the integration service performs during a session. That means session log will contains all the information like what are the configuration that you are set at the integration service. So all the information it will have and also plus the load summary. Load summary is nothing but how many records it has taken from the source and how many records it has loaded into the target. And also the transformation statistics. That means what are the transformation that you have used expression transformation or router, etc. By default, the integration service creates one session log for each session it runs. That means it will create only one session log for every run. Okay. Now the question arises here is if if you want to save more than one session log, how we need to do that? We will see in this video. Now, what is a workflow log? You all we all know workflow logs contain information about the workflow runs. That means the status of the task, session task, and worklets, etc. Now, what are the different ways of saving session log and workflow log? So there are two ways of saving session log and workflow log. First, we can save the session on workflow log by timestamp. That means for every timestamp, it will create. For example, if you have run at 3 p.m., now it will create one session log and workflow log at 3 p.m. Now, if you have run at 3 5, it will again create another session log and workflow log with 3 5 timestamp. That is timestamp. That means if you uh, save the session and if you set the session log and workflow log for timestamp, then it will create n number of session logs and workflow log. But if you are if you are running for uh, 10 years, for example, if you're running the session log on workflow log for 10 years, then it will save all the session logs on work workflow log. So most of the customers want to use this option. So they will go the, with the option. We can save the session log on workflow log by number of runs. That means if you want to save by default, it will be zero. That means the value will be zero. That means only one session log on workflow log will be created by default. Now, if anyone wants to save the session logs that means past 10 session logs then they need to set the number of runs as 10 then the session log all the past 10 session logs will get saved on the power center server now note we can save the session log on workflow log in text format as well that means not only the binary format we can also save in text format i will show you the video in practically next explanation now, what is the timestamp by timestamp? As I mentioned, all the session workflow logs will be saved based on the timestamp. That means if you are run at 3 p.m., it will save one session on workflow log at 3 p.m. If you are run at 3 5, then again it will save once one more session workflow log with 3 5 p.m. So then most of the customers or most of the students won't use this option. We will go with by session or workflow runs. That means now how we can set we can set the value at the session level or workflow level directly if you set at workflow or session level it would be fine but if i have, consider i have a project where i have thousands of sessions and workflows now if i keep on uh, editing each and every session and if i want to change the number of runs then it is a hectic task so that's why we can set it at a parameter file level so all the sessions or workflows which is using this parameter file they can easily take the value from the parameter file. So that is the second option. And the third option is can place the value at IS level. That means if you place the value at the integration service level in the admin console, then all the session that runs under that integration service will fix the value. So these are the three different scenarios where we can set the uh, session or workflow. Now let us start with a quick demo. Now I have logged into the workflow manager. I have created a simple uh, mapping in the designer and I have created one session and I have created a one workflow. Now, if you see in the session, so let us see one by one everything. So if you go into the config object, now you can see save session log by session runs. So whenever you create a session by default, it will be like this save session log by will be session runs and save session log for this run will be zero. Now, for example, as we mentioned in the PPT, first we'll go with the session timestamp. Now let's see. When you click on the session timestamp, now you can see save session log for this runs is automatically disabled. That means for every timestamp, it will create a new file. Let us see. Let me apply. Okay. Now let me save. Now let me validate once. And let me uh, run the workflow and let us see. Now I have run the session. Now, uh, if you see the present working directory, it is my info home. 
and after that server in first set session log so session logs will be under this directory now let me put ls hyphen ltr now you can see the session log got saved in so now if you see this there are two session logs okay one is in the text format one is in the binary format so i will tell you why the text format is also got created i will tell you but if you see the session log is got created with the timestamp because we have enabled uh, session log with the timestamp now let me go to the workflow manager again and let us change the option now let me edit the session once again now go to the config object tab and if you see we have uh, kept as a session time step now why it got created text file as well see if you uh, go if you go up here and if, uh, if you come down here now we can see the option called backward compatible so let me show you that option so so if you see here backward compatible properties now write backward compatible session log file i have enabled this that's why uh, the session log got created in text format as well let me disable this one and in the config object i had given a session timestamp only now i am running the session the time is now 3:43 let's see now let me save and let me validate once now let me start the session now if you see now if you see at uh, 15 3:43 so as i mentioned now the session log got created in the binary form but if you see the session log with the timestamp so because we have mentioned as a timestamp previously it got created in the binary as well as text because text means because we have enabled uh, backward compatible so that's why it was created previously now we uh, didn't create a text file because we have disabled it now let us see one more option now the second option which i have mentioned in the ppt is save session log by session runs if you click on this then if you see you can see save session log for this runs is got enabled now let me put 3 that means let me put 2 2 is enough that means i want to save two session logs as well as two past session log as well as the current session log if you put two then it will save total three session logs that means two past session logs and one is the current session log now let me apply and okay let me save and let me run the session once again now you can see the session log got created with a dot zero zero that means we have kept as two that means it will create zero and if you run the session one more time it will create another file with one and if you run for next time it will create another file with two now when you run for uh, another time that means when you run for fourth time then again it will create with zero that means the zero dot pin will get overwrite let me run for three times and let me show you now you can see i have run the session three times that means it got created zero that means first time and second time and the third time now when i run the session again then it will override the zero dot bin file now let me run it once again now you can see when i run for the fourth time then zero dot bin got overwritten it got overwritten at 349 okay now if i run for one more time then one dot bin file will get override and the next time two dot bin so in this way it will give all the three session logs when you have kept at two then it will store past two and the current one is this one. so in this way it will store the session logs now this is the first point which i discussed in the ppt that means you can directly provide the number of runs at the session level or at the workflow level now if you want to provide to the workflow log now i have shown for the session log now you can do the same for the workflow log now you can see click on the workflows edit now go to the properties tab here you can see the workflow log file directory if this is a workflow log directory and save session log by runs so if you want to save by runs you can but uh, if you want to save by timestamp now you can click on the timestamp now you can see now if you run the workflow again then it will also create uh, by using the timestamp so let me show you that also I have restarted the workflow from the workflow monitor and when you log into the machine so this is the present working directory this is my infa home and this is my uh, server and if you go into server infrastructure workflow logs you can see the workflow log now you can see the workflow log got uh, saved with the timestamp now if you run one more time then again it will store in the form of timestamp now in order to uh, reduce this timestamp now in order to give the number of session uh, runs the number of workflow runs then you again need to modify at the workflow manager let me show you that 
now if you want to save the virtual logs by number of runs the same as we have seen for the session logs then you need to give work by timestamp remove by runs and here keep it as two and apply and okay now if you run the workflow again then it will store two past two session logs with a zero one two so this is how you need to run for the workflow log as well and let me show you the session so let us uh, now see the session run itself now go to the config object so as we have seen for the session run uh, session run you can apply the same for the workflow run now if you want to so as i mentioned like if you have a project where you have thousands of sessions now in order to change the thousands of sessions by coming here save session log session runs and giving two as a runs then it is a hectic task now instead of doing this you can set at the parameter file the value and you can use that value in the session so let me show you that how we need to use it let me log in into my uh server uh, machine and let me show you the parameter file now this is my parameter file now if you see the service service is nothing but an integration service i have given integration service name and i have given as pm session log count equal to five so when you give this dollar pm session log count equal to five and i am just saving this file and if you see the present working directory is home at smsc now at the session level at the parameter file level you need to provide this directory and the file name para1.txt then all the sessions which use as this parameter file will use the value as 5 and it will store five session log let me give this uh, path in the workflow manager at the session level now let me edit the session go to the config object now you can see Go, go to the properties and you can see the parameter file name now here you just provide para1.txt now let me apply and let me save and let me run the session then we'll see how many session logs it will store now if you see uh, i have run the session from the workflow monitor for the five times i have run and i came to the uh, linux server now if you see it is not creating 0 1 2 3 4 it is not getting created like this uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 because the problem is we have given the parameter file name in the session but we didn't mention that uh, uh, variable session variable and the session properties so that's why we are uh, not getting the five session log so let me mention once again and we'll run the session once again so if you see uh, we went uh, previously we went into properties and we have given uh, parameter file name so after giving this you need to go to the config object and here you just need to remove these two previous value and you need to place dollar pm session log count this is the value which were defined at the parameter file you just mention this and then click ok and then click save now let me run the session for five times and we'll see whether five session logs are getting created or not five means it will create six session logs that means past five and the present one let me validate and let me run the session for five times now i have ran the session for five times now you can see zero one two three four that means five session logs got created the past five session logs are there and this is the current session log. so you don't forget to give the variable at the session property now let me go to workflow manager again in the same way if you want to store workflow logs for by using the parameter file the same way you need to do you need to go to workflows and edit now here go to the properties and you need to give the parameter file name that means the same parameter file name para1.txt and in the para1.txt you just need to define the uh, the variable called this is a variable which you need to define let me show you that save workflow by this run now this variable you have to keep in the parameter file and you need to give the value which we have given same like session and you need to run the session for and you need to mention this value here and you need to run the workflow for five times then it will get created five times the workflow log so this is the same process you have to do now in the parameter file i have given like this let me open the parameter file now if you see dollar pm workflow log count equal to five and i have ran the say, workflow for five times and let me show you the workflow logs that got created so these are the workflow logs 0 1 2 3 4 that means five workflow logs and this is the current workflow log 
now we have seen for the session and for the workflow uh, by giving at the directly at the session level and workflow level and also by giving at the parameter file at the session level and also parameter file at the workflow level now for example consider i have uh, a session like i have a huge number of sessions like a thousand sessions where 500 sessions are using parameter file and 500 sessions are not using the parameter file now if i want to give for all the thousand sessions that means if i want to give uh, the value for all the uh, thousand sessions at a time then the only option we have is we need to set that the integration service level then all the uh, thousand sessions which is running under that integration service will take those values let me log into the admin console and let, let me show you the now this is the integration service where i am running all the work for example consider i am running all the workflows and sessions thousand workflows and sessions under this integration now you, you need to click on here and if you see pm session log count here you need to change to 10 and pm workflow log count you need to change to 10 so after changing this let me go to the workflow manager and show you what are the steps we need to do now i, I have given in that console i have given for the session log count as 10 now you need to come to the session and you just need to remove this parameter file name or else in the parameter file you just need to remove that dollar pm session log count or else you can directly remove this parameter file you don't need to declare and in the config object you just need to give dollar pm session log count so this value first it will check at the parameter file level but the parameter file we didn't mention so that's why it will go to the is and it will take the pick up the value from the integration service so let me run and let us see whether the session will run for 10 times or not 10 session logs or not now you can see the session log uh, has taken the value first it has searched uh, the parameter file at the session level so we didn't mention at the session level and also you make sure to remove uh, the parameter file at the workflow level so otherwise it will search at the workflow level and if you have not declared at the workflow level also then it will go and search at the is level so at the is level we have kept as 10 so that's why it is storing 0 to 9 the past 10 and the current the session level uh, record okay and in the same way you can do for the workflow level also you can set at integration service level and you can uh, run the workflow for 10 times and you can search it and you can see you able to see that a workflow will get created 10 times so these are the different ways like we can set directly at the session or workflow level and the second is we can set at the parameter file level and the third is at the integration service level so these are the different ways of uh, saving the session or workflow log now the references for you if you have any doubts you can search at search.informatica.com and also you can see our knowledge base info support channel now we would love to hear from you you can give our valuable feedback at support videos at the rate informatica.com or we have a twitter channel you can uh, give your feedback there thank you thank you for watching this video